How's it going everybody? It is Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary in this video some Halo 5 news for you. We're getting big team battle and some new maps coming to this game. If you enjoyed these informational videos please make sure to tap that like button lets me know you want me to create more of these kind of videos subscribe for more awesome halo content and let's jump right into the news here recently on a post from 343 bravo states that big team battle is going to be patched into halo 5. now we knew that this was going to happen but we weren't sure when but based on the information that Bravo has provided us in this post that it'll be coming within a week, Big Team Battle will also be coming with some brand new maps. Though these maps are Forge maps, they are remakes and re-envisions of your classic Big Team Battle maps that you know from previous Halos. Here are some screenshots of those maps. We have Deadlock, which is inspired by Standoff. You can see that they tried to mimic the radio tower that was in the original standoff from Halo 3. Basin, which is inspired by Valhalla, which actually that map was inspired by Blood Gulch, kind of like a superior successor. Guillotine, which is an obvious remake of Headlong, which is, looks like a spot-on remake. And Recurve, which is the inspired version of Longbow from Halo 4. There are also some new wrecks coming in, like weapon skins, vehicle variants, some new helmets, visors, emblems, things like that. Team Arena is also getting an update with new maps and variants, with strongholds being added to Plaza, Capture the Flag to Empire, and Slayer to Regret, and Altitude being added to Breakout. The maps of Truth, Empire, and Pegasus are being added to Regular Slayer. Empire, Fathom, Coliseum, and Truth are being added to SWAT. Empire, Fathom, Coliseum, and Truth are being added to Free For All as well. And on the best note of this entire video, Orion is being taken out of the playlist because people complained about it being such a terrible map, saying that people have been abusing glitches with Orion and for some re-envisioning. I think that re-envisioning is that everybody hates that map. That map was awful back in the beta. I can't believe that they even thought about bringing it back for the launch of Halo 5. Also, on a bit of side news, Halo Reach is going to be on the Xbox One coming this December. It's not going to be a part of the initial launch of the backwards compatibility that's coming to the Xbox One. It's coming on later this year. Sadly enough, we'll just have to wait an extra month for us to enjoy what Halo Reach has to offer. But anyways, guys, that's the end of this informational video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe for more awesome Halo content and news, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out.